Hey everyone, welcome to another phenomenal tutorial brought to you by www.qtptutorial.net. I am fantastic today and I'm so happy to have everybody here with me because I am going to teach one of the most important topics for QTP automation engineers. And that is the language of VB script. It's a scripting language and QTP automation is based entirely on this language. I know we have had many requests for this topic and I am glad to hear it because through my career, I have noticed that there are so many charlatan QTP automation engineers who know how to use QTP. They may be familiar with the tool, but as soon as you put a function in front of their eyes or a little bit of VB script, they freak out and they have no idea what's going on. And to me, that is so absurd. How are you going to be a QTP automation specialist and not know VB script? All you are is just an individual who knows how to use a tool. You are very expendable to many companies and you are easily replaceable because there are so many people out there that can come in, learn how to record and play back with QTP and do very little for the company. I've experienced it many times where I come in and the only automation they have is record and play back and it is a ridiculous pain to maintain that stuff and to deal with it, to figure out what's going on. My God, if only those individuals knew VB script, knew the proper conventions of what to do, maybe they would make the life of the company and all of their fellow workers a lot easier. So that's what we are here to show you guys is how to be a thousand steps ahead of those individuals just by mastering VB script. Let me say that if you guys don't know VB script and you're attempting to do QTP automation, you need to stop right now. You need to learn VB script. You need to master it and then jump back into QTP automation. Doing QTP automation without VB script is like doing calculus without learning your basic mathematic operations. If I threw in some crazy quadratic equations at you and you didn't know how to do addition or subtraction, how do you expect to understand what's going on when a real automation engineer presents you with a keyword driven framework? It's going to take you months to analyze the framework. No one's going to pay you for months of time to analyze a framework. That's ridiculous to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars for some person to learn my framework. No way. I want you to get in there. I want you to analyze it for a few weeks, know what's going on and then do your job. Let me show you guys a quick example of what I mean. If we take a look at this function right here. Now imagine you guys are beginners and I imagine most of you watching this tutorial are. Maybe some of you guys are advanced, just trying to improve your skills. But look at this function, guys. It's, you know, I would say pretty, pretty decent function, contains some complicated stuff. Do you guys even understand what's going on here if you're a beginner? To you, this is probably some kind of a Chinese language. You have no clue what's going on. You may be completely lost. All of this is meaningless. And for you to analyze this, I don't know how long it would take you. I don't even know if you would be able to analyze it correctly. And so you need your fundamentals. You need your basic VB scripting skills so that you can jump on board to any company and be able to pick up that project. Not only will you be able to pick up that project, you will probably be able to lead it just by knowing VB script. Just because like I said, so few people know it so few people understand it well that you'd be far ahead of the game and by knowing this it would make everybody's life much easier sorry for the spiel guys i just wanted to give you an intro into vb script and why it's so important and i hope everybody takes the time to watch this thing because if i run a company and i'm hiring automation engineers and 
You don't know VB script. I'm not going to be hiring you because let me tell you a secret, guys. When I interview people for jobs, I am giving them VB script exercises and I am testing their knowledge of VB script. And if you are not able to handle the tasks that I give you, you're not going to be working with me. Let's go ahead and get into the meat of the topic. This will be a multi serious tutorial. We're going to cover everything about VB script from A to Z. I hope to make everything as simple as possible for you guys. And as always, we take any questions that you guys have, hop on our site, go to these videos and leave your comments, questions, we'll be sure to answer them. So let me give you guys a quick overview of what I plan to cover through these tutorials. We're going to start off with some VB script basics, get you guys a good foundation and then proceed with variables, arrays, constants, and dictionaries. Then I'm going to teach you guys some conditional logic. After that, some loops, then functions and subs. Then we're going to deal with files and folders. We're going to get to error handling. We're going to do using built-in VBScript objects. And maybe we'll add some more topics towards the end. If you guys request some, if you guys have any knowledge gaps or anything that I feel necessary, we may add to the end. So number nine is optional open, and this will be a multi-week tutorial. It will go on for a while. There's so much to cover, but we're giving this content out for you guys to learn, to become efficient, to be the best at your jobs and to control the automation industry. Now that I gave you guys the overview, we can go ahead and get started. I'm actually going to be using one of my favorite VB editing tools, which is VBS edit. This is it. And the reason I'm going to be doing stuff here and not QTP is because I want you guys to know that you don't need QTP to learn VB script. Some of you guys may be just learning QTP and you may be using the trial license and it may be running out or you may want to get it to learn this. And I want to tell you guys, no, you don't need it. You can learn VB script with this amazing tool, which is 60 bucks for a lifetime license. Very cheap, but it's so light, so effective. I actually have a video on it describing all of the amazing features. So if you guys want to go check that out, we'll post a little pop-up that will lead you to that video. But I'm going to teach you guys here and along the way, we'll get familiar with this tool. First thing I want to talk about is VB script syntax rules. First thing that I want to tell you guys is that typical of most scripting developing languages is that statements must fit onto a single line. So what does that mean? It means when you're declaring a variable, setting it equal to something, and then displaying this message box. One second. Then it all has to be on one line. For example, let me show you guys what happens if I run this. In VBS edit, F5 is to run. You guys see that? Got a pop-up, qtpstorial.net. Now, this is on a single line, all of these statements. If I wanted to do this, it's not going to work. Do you guys see that? Wrong number of arguments and line 11. And that's what it means in VB script that all statements must fit into a line. And what is a statement? A statement is something that creates some kind of a context. So for example, here I declare a variable. Here. I set the variable equal to something. You don't need any more here. You just set the variable equal to a value and it's good to go. And here I display that value for you guys so that it's visible using a message box, which we'll talk about in the future. So don't worry, we'll get into all of these words and special statements in VB script at a later time. Right now, I just want to show you guys the syntax rules just to get you familiar. And I'm sorry, I'm trying to use shortcut keys, but my screen capture software is not letting me do so to common and uncommon. So I have to 
do the slow way. And as you guys may know, if you're familiar with me, I love shortcut keys because I think every second that you save for yourself as an automation engineer is a second more that you can use for developing an amazing framework.